living nearby were sad Ross was cross and took turns to ask why. A lion tried first in a casual way. He said, good morning Ross, it's a beautiful day. Ross didn't like this. He started to smolder. He charged, but he missed and ran into a boulder. Next, a baboon took his turn to ask Ross, Please, tell us the reason you're always so cross. Ross lowered his horn, as sharp as a knife, and charged the baboon, who ran for his life. The baboon kept on running, then jumped up a tree, which poor Ross the rhino had no time to see. The tree shook with the crash as Ross hit it beneath. His horn stuck in the trunk, and he lost two back teeth. Ross struggled and wriggled, but then at last, he had to admit, his head was stuck fast. Ross thought for a moment, then started to shout, Well, someone please help me to get my horn out! The lion, the baboon, the warthog, and Gnu were all very frightened. The hippo was too. Then they said, very well, but please promise us there'll be no more bad temper, or shouting, or fuss. They pulled and they pushed until pop, Ross was freed. Ross thanked them and said, I'm most grateful indeed. Perhaps now you'll tell us just why you've been cross, the lion inquired of the rhinoceros. Ross prodded the teeth which had just been knocked out and said, That's the reason I grump, snarl, and shout. Toothache made me so grumpy and cross, but now I feel better, said a happier Ross. The lion said, Well, and then he said, Phew, I'm sorry to tell you, you've got bad breath too. But he had an idea and said, you all wait there. What your teeth need is some good dental care. He whizzed off, then came back much later that day. Here you are, said the lion, no more tooth decay. This toothbrush I've made will keep your teeth clean. And thank me for the bristles, said a hedgehog called Dean. Ross took the toothbrush and squeezed on some paste. Then he brushed till the foam reached halfway to his waist. He brushed and he brushed till his teeth looked like new, as white as an ice cream and fresh as the dew. And do you know what? From that day on, Ross's bad temper had completely gone. He never got toothache ever again, cause he brushed his teeth daily come wind, sun, or rain. Now his teeth are a picture, and he's no longer glum, and everyone counts him their very best chum. 